Guys, today we're talking about a lot of stuff. We are talking about the key 100 day moving average, which has been broken here. What does this mean for Bitcoin? We're talking about the smart money. You will not believe the significant stance they are taking right now on the market. So this is something you will want to watch, guys. I'm going to go through Bitcoin. I'm going to go through a trading setup for Ethereum as well as traditional markets. So stick around, guys. I'm also going to give you an update on my trading bots here. So, welcome back everybody, my name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Let's get straight into it guys, and on the daily time frame, you can see that we have finally broken above the key 100 day moving average. How many times did it take? It took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times here went down and now we have broken above it. So to be honest, guys, zooming out here, I think we are due for a very clear path up to the next level of resistance at 21,700. And then should we break this, which I uh, do think you should uh, still be a little bit cautious about because of course my orange line is big resistance, but then you have the orange box at 22,270. So that is going to be the key level of strong resistance here for Bitcoin moving forward should we have a pump above the $21,700 level. Now, what I am going to do, guys, even though I, as you know, I've started to become more bullish on Bitcoin, so this pump is in line with what we could expect, but I still think that this level of resistance and this level of resistance is going to be hard to break, break through here for Bitcoin. So I am, should we come up to these levels, I am going to start building a short here from the $21,700 level up to the orange box at $22,500. So I will be building that short, guys. I will be doing that on OKX. And that's a short term thing, guys. I am going to wait for that pullback potentially down back to 21,400 eventually. So that is going to be a nice trade for me. Now, be careful as always, guys, especially if you're shorting, because if we break through this level, make sure to use a stop loss. So you do not, you know, just be in a trade which goes against you losing your money. So using a stop loss above the orange box here, but building that short from 21,700, that is what I am going to be doing personally, and then taking profit on the first pullback, potentially down to 20,400. So that's my strategy, guys. As always, I am going to share what I am doing. So let's talk about this. Before we talk about traditional markets, Ethereum, the DXY, and so on, you can see that the smart money, the asset managers, we have some new data. So as you know, I've been showing you this recently and how the asset managers, they have started to actually go long here. And of course the smart money, they usually are right when it comes to these things. So 188,000 um, positions of longs last week, 133,000 positions of shorts. But what you can see this week is that, yes, we've had a slight little bit of a drawdown in the longs, but we had a massive pullback in shorts. Look, 123,000 shorts only. Uh, down from 133. Did I say, yeah, 123 here and 133 here. So we're seeing the shorts being closed here moving forward. So long term, I do think that these guys are going to be right this time as well. But just short term for Bitcoin, I do think that we could see a little bit of a pullback from these levels. So that's a short term trade. But then, you know, as I've been saying, this is the time to start preparing for the next major uh, bull run for Bitcoin and crypto in general, which I do think is going to start in between three to six months. So you want to be prepared for that, guys. Other than that, we have the traditional markets. They found supportive of my orange line at 3,717. Uh, 3, Big pump here from that level, guys. So we want to hold this for traditional markets if we want continuation for the crypto markets as well, of course. For the DXY, we are kind of in the middle of the two significant trend lines. We do have my orange line here at 108, and then you have up here at 115. So the DXY have some more room to grow, both to the downside and to the upside, so pay attention to that. Before I talk about this Ethereum setup, guys, I want to speak a little bit about the bot here, because the bot I uh, showed you yesterday on BitGet was actually closed. I don't know why this was closed. Actually, it just said, order failed. So if you follow this bot yesterday, uh, this bot is probably closed for you as well. Now I'm not complaining. I mean, in one day it made 21% in profit, so that's fine. But I have added a exactly the same uh, levels for this new bot, which is up almost 4% already here on, 
on BitGet. So if you want to go into this bot as well, make sure to check yesterday's video where I go through the settings and exactly how to do this. But I just wanted to point that out that this bot was for some reason closed. So I added in exactly the same uh, thing here again. So let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum is right now on a key level of resistance. You can see it right here, 1,653. The last time we were here, we did see a rejection for Ethereum. It's now the time for us to finally break through this and have some more upside. Well, if you look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, you can see that we are at key levels of resistance also on the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. So we have limited upside here uh, for uh, for Ethereum potentially, unless we of course break this uh, cleanly, consolidate, that's a different story. But for now, I would say we have another like 5-6%, meaning Ethereum could outperform Bitcoin by 5-6%. So if we do see Bitcoin go up to these key levels like 22,500, uh, which is, you know, um, 5%, and then Ethereum uh, outperforms Bitcoin another additional 5-6%, which this chart could suggest, but again, we are right inside of major resistance, so we have to be careful here that we could see a clean break up to at least 1734 here for Ethereum. So I am keeping my eye on the Ethereum chart as well, guys. I will keep you updated. And as usual, guys, don't forget to sign up for my favorite exchanges. You're able to claim up to $10,000 in OKX by using this link right here. Also on BitGet, if you want to claim up to $8,400, you are able to do that. And also for traders who are not uh, usually able to sign up for other exchanges like OKX, Bybit, Femex, you can use BitGet most likely. So make sure to take advantage of that offer. That's what I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.